Hey girls and boys, I'm Abby Brown. When we visit the zoo, we get to see all kinds of animals. Some we may never see anywhere else in Iowa, and others we see all of the time, even in our own backyards. Have you ever heard of a pollinator? It's usually an insect that moves pollen from one plant to another. The pollinator helps flowers to bloom and fruit to grow just by taking pollen from one place to another. It's pretty incredible, right? With a little knowledge and a thirst for adventure, you can help bring pollinators like butterflies into your own neighborhood. Go wild with Iowa PBS and the Blank Park Zoo as we help Iowa's pollinators. If you peek outside right now, do you see any flowers or plants? Do you notice any bees or birds or butterflies? We can spot most of them in the spring, summer, and even fall here in Iowa. And my friend Chris from the Blank Park Zoo is going to show us how we might be able to attract these animals to benefit their habitats and life cycles. I'm Chris from the Blank Park Zoo. Thanks for coming and joining us today. I would like to talk to you today about our Plant Grow Fly program. With our Plant Grow Fly program, we like to focus on our monarchs, and monarchs are a really important butterfly to Iowa. So they'll be starting to come up from the south and as they're coming up, they're gonna be looking for a specific uh, milkweed. And milkweed is a uh, flower that they, plant, they will put their eggs on. And it's, that's called a host plant for their eggs. And as the eggs, um, when, they, when they hatch, the caterpillars will eat on the milkweed and then they'll become beautiful monarch butterflies. And I'll give you a sample of what you might see as a monarch butterfly flying around. So we have a male and a female, and the males have the little dots right there on their, um, on their wings, so that's how you can tell them apart. Plus they're a little bit more showy and a little more, more colorful. So that's how you can tell a male from a female. So to, also today what I'm gonna to show you is, is how to make a seed bomb. And this is something that you can do at home pretty easily. It doesn't take a whole lot of supplies. You can get some clay, so you can get that from, um, if you have clay in your backyard or in your yard, you can use that, or you can go to the, uh, the store and get some clay. All this is natural stuff that'll go right back into the earth and it'll break down and um, hopefully your, the flowers will, will bloom. You're gonna flatten it in the middle. So you're gonna make like maybe like a bird's nest. That's kind of how I look at it. So you take your thumb and you make a nice big hole inside your clay there. So everybody see that? Then what you're gonna do is put a little uh, potting soil in there, a little dirt too, you can get that from your yard or if you have potting soil from your flowers that you planted around your house. And then you're gonna put your seeds. So we have some milkweed seed here um, and we have some other flowers in here like aster and coneflower and all these will be nice showy plants and they'll be great nectar sources. So we're gonna put those right inside the little ball here. And then we're gonna close it up, real, real tight. Roll it tight up in your hands. So you make like a donut hole. Get it nice and tight in there. Then you're gonna let it dry. And you're gonna let dry, usually like, I like to put mine in my windowsill and let them dry there. And then when they're all dried, I'll take my seed balls and then I'll throw them out into my garden which is a lot of fun to do. Or maybe I might find a greater ditch and uh, throw them out into the greater ditch to get some more of uh, the milkweed out there or other uh, pollinating flowers out there for our butterflies. So some of the things to think about when you're, when you're making a garden for butterflies and for other pollinators, you wanna make sure that you have host plants. 
So host plants are important because that's what the butterfly is gonna lay their egg on. It's very, so to have more butterflies and more caterpillars, you need host plants. So some really good, besides milkweed, some other good host plants are dill. I love the dill, it helps our, um, with our swallowtails. Uh, another one would be purple uh, uh, prairie coneflower or clover. Those are also really good host plants. The other thing you need is uh, to have nectar. So nectar, host, nectar plants are gonna be the ones that have the sweetness to them. So they're gonna give our butterflies and our hummingbirds something that they can eat on, and then they can help pollinate other, uh, pl other plants as they go. Cosmos are really good and pretty easy, and zinnias. I love the zinnias. They're really showy and really, really bright, and you can plant new ones every single year. So they're annuals, because you can plant new ones every year. So that's something I really like to do. When also when you're looking at your butterfly gardens area, you wanna make sure that you have sunlight so that the plants can grow, and you wanna make sure you have water. So that's important for the, for the plants, but also for the butterflies, because they need water, and so do our hummingbirds. And then you wanna make sure that you have areas where they can sun on themselves. So some rocks are really nice, so they can feel that sun, they can get warm, and kind of in, also enjoy the garden that you made for them when they're out there. So again, we have our seed balls that you'll make, and you wanna plant uh, flowers for our monarchs and for other butterflies that you're gonna find here in Iowa and we're really excited to have you part of the Blank Park Zoo Plant Grow Fly program. For more information, you can always go to the Plant Grow Fly website on the zoo's website to find out what do I need for my garden? How do I plant my garden? Where do I find all these awesome plants that you're talking about? Then the next thing you can do is register your garden on our website, because we want to know all about your garden. What did you name it? What are the flowers you have in there? Are you in North Central Iowa? Are you in Southern Iowa? Are you from another state? We want to know where are you planting these flowers and uh, tell us all about them. And then we'll send you a certificate to say that you're part of the garden, you're part of the Plant Grow Fly uh, program. Thank you today for coming out and making seed balls with us. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Attracting those beautiful pollinators to our neighborhoods can be a wonderful challenge and rewarding not only for us, but for the butterflies too. Thank you everyone for going wild with Iowa PBS and the Blank Park Zoo. I'm Abby Brown and always remember to ask questions and wonder. That's what science is all about.